Narrated by Alice Wad. Aisha said, We went out with the Prophet from Medina with the intention of performing Hajj only, and when we reached Mecca we performed Tawaf round the Kaaba, and then the Prophet peace be upon him ordered those who had not driven the Hadi along with them to finish their Iram. So the people who had not driven the Hadi along with them finished their Iram. The Prophet's wives, too had not driven the Hadi with them, so they too, finished their Iram. Aisha added, I got my menses and could not perform to laugh round the Kaaba. So when it was the night of Hezba, when we stopped at Al-Muhasab, I said, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Everyone is returning after performing Hajj and Umrah but I am returning after performing Hajj only. He said, Didn't you perform to laugh round the Kaaba the night we reached Mecca? I replied in the negative. He said, Go with your brother to Tanim and assume the Iram for Umrah, and after performing it come back to such and such a place. On that Safi Ya said, I feel that I will detain you all. The Prophet peace be upon him said, O Akrahalka! Didn't you perform Tawaf of the Kaaba on the day of sacrifice? Tawaf Alifada, Safi Ya replied in the affirmative. He said to Safi Ya, There is no harm for you to proceed on with us. Aisha added, After returning from Umrah, the Prophet peace be upon him met me while he was ascending from Mecca, and I was descending to it, or I was ascending and he was descending. Narrated by Aisha We set out with Allah's Messenger peace be upon him to Mecca in the year of the Prophet's last Hajj. Some of us had assumed Iram for Umrah only, some for both Hajj and Umrah, and others for Hajj only. Allah's Apostle assumed Iram for Hajj. So whoever had assumed Iram for Hajj or for both Hajj and Umrah did not finish the Iram till the day of sacrifice. Narrated by Marwan bin al-Hakam I saw Uthman and Ali. Uthman used to forbid people to perform Hajj at Damatu and Hajj al kiran Hajj and Umrah together, and when Ali saw this act of Uthman, he assumed Iram for Hajj and Umrah together saying, Lubi Ike for Umrah and Hajj, and said, I will not leave the tradition of the Prophet peace be upon him on the saying of somebody. Narrated by Ibn Abbas The people of the pre-Islamic period used to think that to perform Umrah during the months of Hajj was one of the major sins on earth. And also used to consider the month of Safar as a forbidden, sacred month and they used to say, when the wounds of the camel's back heal up after they return from Hajj and the signs of those wounds vanish, and the month of Safar passes away then at that time Umrah is permissible for the one who wishes to perform it. In the morning of the fourth of Dhul Hijjah, the Prophet peace be upon him and his companions reached Mecca, assuming Iram for Hajj and he ordered his companions to make their intentions of the Iram for Umrah only, instead of Hajj, so they considered his order as something great and were puzzled, and said, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. What kind of finishing of Iram is allowed? The Prophet peace be upon him replied, Finish the Iram completely like a non murim you are allowed everything. Narrated by Abu Musa I came to the Prophet from Yemen and was assuming Iram for Hajj, and he ordered me to finish the Iram after performing the Umrah.